So um, uh, let's get started. So uh, hello everyone, thank you so much for being here. Uh, today I'm going to talk uh, risk five something about uh, risk five software ecosystem. Back here, that's uh, in Power Web Assembly and container on risk five. So talk about risk five. Uh, now I think one of the most important thing is the software ecosystem. Risk five International has uh, several page to track this thing, uh, you know, all of the software development. Overall, the risk five open source software ecosystem has shown tremendous growth and maturity over the past several years. But just you know, a uh, lot of things are focused on something like uh, operating system, uh, low level library, and low level tool. Um, so compared to a more established architecture like x86, um, you know, I would say you know, risk file open source system, uh, software ecosystem it may not be as comprehensive. But this why I really get the notice of the community, IoT, you know, embedded system, automotive, and even data center now. So in, indeed, we really have those you know, fundamental, um, fundamental software technology enabled on Risk Five, uh, like VM and container like uh, Docker. So I believe it's time to accelerate uh, Risk Five adoption from those low end devices to the cloud and to the uh, to the uh, edge. Um, because, um, because you know most of the modern application platform are uh, built on container. Okay. And uh, now they are kind of a containerized service architecture just now involved for the uh, WebAssembly. Uh, WebAssembly is a low level binary instruction format uh, for a stack uh, based uh, virtual machine. Um, more important, uh, WebAssembly also can run outside the web browser you know, with WebAssembly uh, runtime. Here, good news for that risk file is you know, those popular WebAssembly runtime, such as you know, Wasm Edge and Wasm Time and Wasm Run, and also can support that risk file. Uh, furthermore, WebAssembly is really companion on software uh, you know, approach to the software development. Now we can run WebAssembly as alternative runtime you know, side by side you know, with that you know, container and VM. And actually, we also have some way to orchestrate that WebAssembly and the container together um, by means of that uh, you know, container like this. Container is the you know, most uh, you know, widely used high level container runtime. It implements that low level, implements that shim architecture. That lets you mix and match your low level or runtime. Uh, in, now including the WebAssembly runtime. That being said, uh, they also embed that WebAssembly runtime code. So uh, they can create that WebAssembly host and then uh, uh, execute the WebAssembly application. So finally, we uh, can run that WebAssembly on the Kubernetes as well. So this is something uh, we, uh, you know, we tend to do, or even what we are doing now from Edge to Cloud. Uh, back to our risk five, uh, we uh, need to embrace this. We need to support this. So just again, as I mentioned, uh, we have all of the necessary um, parts enabled on risk five. So we can start to enable or build modern application framework on risk five, like uh, what we are doing on other architectures. On my side, you know, one of the things uh, what I'm trying to do is, you know, uh, first build everything you know, together with the Yakult Linux distribution, uh, including that, you know, Kubernetes, Container D, and WebAssembly, and Docker. On top of that, I enable that AJAX Foundry. AJAX Foundry is an open source Edge computing platform and Linux Foundation Edge umbrella. It's that when the neutral is platform agnostic, it is independent of hardware and uh, you know, uh, software, hardware, and even cloud. Besides, I introduced my WebAssembly AI solution. Um, basically, it can leverage that backend graph compiler to accelerate machine learning AI on the edge to help build a powerful edge AI on that risk file. And with the support of you know, Kubernetes, we can put all pieces together to you know, offer this you know, modern edge computing platform on risk file. Um, actually, it also can be extended to other architecture to support you know, that you know, heterogeneous you know, uh, that, uh, uh, system. I think it really can help accelerate you know, risk file adoption uh, in the real world. Uh, you know, that's it. Uh, if you uh, have any questions or comments, please uh, reach out to me on email or WeChat. Thank you. Thank you.